Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. Uh, we're going here and doing some missions at the school, so let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys like this video or the series, then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. No, we're not trying to go there yet. Um, where is the other one? Wait, did I use my bonds already? Yes, I did. Um. Storage building. Uh, I think I might have to go do some looking around for the storage building. No, I think this is the library. Yeah, that's the library. Aha, I found you. Excuse me, is your name Vincent by any chance? Indeed, it is. Standing before you is a nobleman overflowing with love and pathos. The one, the only, Vincent Florad. I presume that you are the Cupid that I asked the student council to send me. I bet this is just a big misunderstanding and she's not really that into him. He's quite the character. He really seems like himself, but that's what I've grown to expect from class one. I'm no Cupid, but I'm here on behalf of the student council, yes. Aha! Then you may still well serve my purposes. Allow me to congratulate you making your way here. So based on your request and my new nickname, I assume you want me to find someone for you? Yes, something along those lines. Do you have some time to spare? If so, I shall begin explaining the particulars of my request. Please deliver your request. A fine answer indeed, although before we continue... Phew. Sophia is currently nowhere to be seen. Now that I think about it, this is uh, this the kind of unusual meeting place. Are you hoping to keep this request quiet? Not exactly. I was merely hoping to avoid things getting meddled in. My father sent Sophia to the academy to keep an eye on me. And as you can imagine, her watchfulness can occasionally be rather constraining. Huh? Well, that is apart from the meat of the matter. To be blunt, I have received not one, not two, but three passionate love letters of late, all from a single writer. Curiously, however, the writer in question signs with not but a nom de plume. What I would request of you, my fine fellow, is to find out just which lovely lady is responsible for these. That's reasonable, but are you sure it's pro for me to try to find her? These are anonymous, after all. Do take a moment to think it over. The fact that she chose to use a pen name rather than remain completely anonymous is proof of my finding hopeful heart. In fact, I am absolutely certain that she wished for me to find her. I suppose I'll have to trust your judgment on this one. What's more, she sent cookies along with her third letter. I would hardly be worthy of her name if I did not properly thank her, would I? Yeah, I don't think I could stop you at this point if I tried. Do you have any additional information that would help me pinpoint exactly who we're looking for? I do indeed. The first hint is that she is a first year. As a man well versed in the feelings of beautiful women, I was able to deduce this from the subtle tone of her letters. Really? You got that from her letters? Okay, guy. Apparently this guy thinks he's a Casanova, but alright. I watch this be a whole misunderstanding. I will laugh. I'm like, ha <laughs> ha. Watch it be like her poetry homework, and then she just kind of like airplaned it out the, for you know, like fold it into an airplane, like threw it out the window. <laughs> it was like, hey, let's see where it lands. Um, what exactly is a grand rose? Oh, heaven forbid! It. You're telling me you've never heard of the grand rose? I'm ashamed to say I don't. Shame is only proper response for such a gosh misstep. The Grand Rose is a magnificent crimson rose and a universal symbol of passionate romance. Once more, 
is often associated with confessing one's loves for another. So like a perfect flower for a love lover then. Ha, quite. Which brings us to why this is a hint. The only way to obtain a grand rose in Trista is to purchase it from the town florist. So if we ask the florist who's purchased one, precisely, we'll be able to discover just which shy maiden has sent these letters to me. Would you take on this task for me then? As long as you don't mind me sticking to the plan we just discussed, I don't see why not. I am truly indebted to you. Based on your, I don't know that word, and her use of the Grand Rose, I can only imagine our lady is very model grip. <laughs> Watch this be torn up in disaster. Oh my god. Which would be better than misunderstanding is if it's the big girl in school. Like, I've seen her around a couple of times in the school. What if it, that big girl? <laughs> oh my god, that would be hilarious. And he just like, ugh, I wish I never went to go find out. Uh, my vision has now been shattered. Thanks. That would be too funny. Now that you mention it, what was the name she used? Oh, it seems I neglected to mention that very important detail. She calls herself the Grand Maiden, a nickname taken from the daughter of a baron who married into the imperial family long ago. The em emperor at the time was so smitten that he gave her countless numbers of grand roses, and so came the moniker. I see. Can't say I've heard that story before, but it is interesting. But this is no time to stand around thinking about it. I'll head over to the flower shop right away. Very well. I'll leave this matter in your clearly capable hands. Alright, let's uh, head over there and find this uh, pen name slash secret admirer. Oh damn, I was wondering, why did I stop? You see, would you mind if I asked you a question? Not at all. Go ahead. We explained the situation to Jane and asked about any first years who had recently purchased any grand roses. Hmm, it wouldn't be hard to find one if I looked at my records, but I'm not exactly sure I should disclose that information. Understandably so, I don't intend to do anything with this information that they don't want me to though. If they ask me to keep their identity secret, that's all I'll do. I see. Well, if that's the case, I guess I can help you out. Just remember though, it's your job to give the mystery sender your support and nothing more. I wish you the best of luck. <sighs> this request is getting pretty complicated at this point. Right, I count three first years who've made, who've made a grand rose purchase recently. In class order, first is Burn from class 3, then there's Vivi from class 6, and Rose Razine from class 5. I say thank you very much for the help. Not at all, good luck. So, back to the school we go. Oh wait, never mind. Excuse me, you're Rosine. Oh, it's a nun? From class five, aren't you? That's correct, but why do you ask? I have a quick kind of personal question for you. Oh no, that certainly wasn't me. I did buy a grand rose, but it was for the purpose of decorating the church. One rose? To decorate the whole church? You are need more than that. Sorry to ask such an embarrassing question then. It it's fine. Wait, is there more? Oh, it's not gonna show me. Let me search around town first, just to make sure. Um, you're bro from class 3, right? <laughs> I certainly am. What do you want from me? Actually, there is something I want to ask you. <laughs> do I seem like the kind of girl who be interested in romance? I need to purchase grand rules to use in a ritual, that's all. I see. That answers my question, but now I'm wondering what that ritual she mentioned is all about. Well, that's all I want to ask. Sorry to disturb you. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to be disturbed. Good day to you. 
Okay, so there's one more girl left. And I don't think they're in the same buildings. So there's no point in keep going up. Where's this last girl at? No, because that's going to lead to the field. Wait. Unless she's at the field. Yeah, how do you know she's here? Oh, she's close by. It's a good thing I went this way. Uh, you're Vivi from class 6, right? You got it. Why do you ask? There's something I'd like to ask you. Well now, that is pretty interesting. I'm going to take that as a no. What was with the sparkles? <laughs> yeah, I wish it was me, but I'm having too much fun teasing Linda to set my sights on me boys right now. I did buy a grand rose, but not to confess to some boy or anything. Not when I've got a sister to prank. Thanks, good talk. I've asked all three girls the floors, floors told me about but none of them seem to have sent the letters. I guess the trail's gone cold. I should report back to Vincent for now. So if she didn't buy it, which means she probably grew it. Tell me. Did your investigation prove successful? Wait, don't tell me. Have you brought our mystery woman here? Oh, be still, my beating heart. Yeah, about that. I wasn't able to find her in the end. You, you can't be serious. Did you ask the florist as we discussed? I did, and I spoke to all three girls who purchased Grand Roses. None of their reasons for doing so had anything to do with you. I can go into detail if you like. It matters not. It if they do not concern me, and then they are simply not my concern. I'm sorry that wasn't any help, but there is one thing I'm curious about. Where could a girl get a grand rose if she didn't go to the florist? There's no way to tell. Perhaps if the grand maiden is a noble, she could have an alternate source, however. My darling Vincent, I found you! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, my theory was correct. Poor Vincent. Ah. <laughs> Stay to your business. The cookies I just baked ended up far more delicious than I ever could have imagined. I like how her name is Margarita. Were you made after a margarita? So delicious that they could even be tested for the lips of my beloved, my elegant, dashing, darling Vincent. Well, what could have possessed a person to approach another out of nowhere to just befuddling things? Furthermore, I do not have even the foggiest idea of, of who you are. <laughs> oh, but you do. What if I told you that I was the girl I made all along? No way. <laughs> Dumbfounded. <laughs> it didn't even point dot dot dot. It point. Dumbfounded. I can hardly blame you for being speechless with joy. My real name is Margaret Dresden. The lovely grand roses I attached were grown by my family. So that's how you got them. If you're part of the Baron Dresden family, then could it mean... Oh, so you know the story. Your suspicions are indeed correct. I, Margarine Drenson, hail from the same family line as the lovely Grand Maiden herself. It all adds up. Inconceivable! How could you, of all people, be related to the Grand Maiden? When her beauty pales in comparison to her own, look, darling, we're already completing each other's sentences. And yours are oh so sweet. What you said couldn't have been further from actual thought. <laughs> Even when you're shy, you're still so wonderful. Seeing the surprise on your handsome face made waiting to reveal my name entirely worth it in the end. Now, my beautiful Lucy, it's time for you to reply to my love letters. Will you enter a relationship with me? 
You may choose one of two replies. I would be delighted or there would be no greater honor. <laughs> Basically, it's either yes or yes. <laughs> it's like you cannot choose no. Sorry, how many options did you say you were giving him? Th this woman could probably be more different than the demure maiden her lairs made her out to be. My only answer for you is resounding no. Now be gone and bother me no more. So that's how it is. See? <laughs> oh, just when I thought you couldn't be more, more adorable to think you're the sort of man who hides his true feelings away. I beg your pardon? There's no need to fear. Please, have one of these special cookies of bread. Why are they special? One bite, and you'll no longer feel the need to keep your innermost longings out of public view. She puts them in those cookies. D don't tell me you've mixed something in your cookies. Oh, but that is for me to know and you to find out. Stay back. Don't come any closer. You don't just stand there. I'll need your aid if I'm to survive. I have no idea how to handle such like this either. <laughs> don't worry, my darling. There may be a slightly bitter aftertaste, but it will be all worth in the end. I've been looking for you, Master Vincent. Sophia! Dare I ask what you are doing in a place like this? Sister Sophia, I beg you, please, free me from this terrifying situation. If I recall, you are my sweetheart's darling maid, are you not? So this is Sophia he mentioned. As much as I hate to interrupt the situation at hand, I am afraid I must. Master Visit, your presence at the upper class dorm is required at once. A delivery of the utmost importance for Count Florid awaits you there. Uh, I see that I have no choice. I must go at once. But, but! These cookies are a present for Master Visits, are they not? In the case, may I ask you to leave them in my hands for now? I will make sure he enjoys every last one of them later. Well, if you insist. Margarita begrudgingly hand over the bag of cookies to Sophia. It seems as though Master Vincent has roped you in this nonsense as well. Hopefully this can dull some of the pain that this annoyance has surely caused you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. With that, I wish you a good day. Let's go, Master Vincent. I indeed. He's like, why? That maid may prove to be quite the obstacle, but no matter, there shall be plenty of opportunities to woo my darling from here on out. <laughs> I believe it's time to get started on new batch of cookies. Well, today's been full of unique encounters to say the least. At least that request is over and done with. Is the kitty gonna be spying on me again? What's happening? What was that? There really must be something down in here. Yeah, like the freaking school heart beated at me. Like either that or that was his sense just going danger. Anyway, let's get this party started. Everyone from class seven has said they're willing to come along. Now who should I call? Okay, um oh crap. I really wanna bring Emma only because she knows how to revive everybody. <laughs> um, wow, why are you all higher levels than me? Dang. Um, I really want to bring guys because I haven't brought them that much. Um, okay. Um, 
and then let's bring you and you we pretty much got almost the entire class back I chose them because mm, I need their levels to be up more especially mine dang I'm like my gap is huge like some of them are 21s and I'm a level 18 I mean I need to step up my game dang I need to level up more after this Right, let's go. Everyone ready? Yeah, ready when you are. I've heard about the things you found in your previous trips down here. Don't worry, I'll keep up with the pet just fine. All right, I'm counting on you. After what happened last time, there's no telling what we're in for. Keep your wits about you, everyone. Yeah, that last monitor, uh, monster kicked my ass. Took a couple tries, but we made it. Is there... Nope. Okay. So we got about three more levels. So this is the elevator that you mentioned. It does seem rather mysterious. Another light slip on the main panel, too. Looks like we go down as far as the third floor now. When did that happen? Hmm. How could this device possibly work? What's powering it? Anyway, let's check out what the third floor has in store for us. We need to investigate whether anything else has changed this month. Of course, I'm going to go to the third floor. Why would I go to the first or second floor? I have literally gone through every pathway. So this is the third floor, and a massive door much like the others. I think it's fair to assume that we'll find strong monsters lurking inside. Yeah, I think we can safely assume that we're not headed for a picnic. Alright, let's be careful out there everyone. Time to begin our investigation. Okay. Oh, I recall instructor Sarah meeting something rather interesting before our exams began. She says that we may be ready to start using common looks at a more advanced level. A more advanced level, indeed. According to her, being more aware of our age on the battlefield will grant us more effective. I'm not quite sure what she's getting at, but with all the practice we've had, I bet we'll find out some soon enough. Let's keep what's said in mind while we're fighting. You can now use the Rush Link attack. Ooh, what's Rush Link? A powerful link attack which consumes the bravery points you gain from repeated assist attacks. Oh, uh, so the more assist I use, the stronger Rush will be. Okay, got you. Can't go through there, can't go through there. Oh my god, what are you? Is there anything here that I can use? Nope, nope. Oh my god, it's a giant mutated rat with tentacles coming out of its back. Um. Aw, oh crap. It's just. There's just things everywhere.
Somehow I made it through that. That hurt him a lot. Right. Yep, fire and water for this. This one's just all of them. Saving my S breaks. I saw that. I'm saving my S breaks for the boss. That's who those S breaks are for. Automatic recur from Kale. Yes. Thank you. gonna get me. linked with each other that's why wait where's my main dude how do you get switched out like that Go! 
Oh, she healed herself? Okay. You just need assists. Well then, let's keep moving. <laughs> I'll let you take point. Making progress. that all right guys from I have to end the video here I ran out of time for it but in the next video we're obviously going to search this dun dungeon a lot more and go and see the dungeon boss and see what they got for us there so until then, I'll see you guys next time. And please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel if you like the video or the series. Mm.